Dude, that was a perfect shank. What is up, y'all? Hope y'all having a great day out here with the man, the myth, the legend, Matthew Walter. Yes, back on the channel. Here to entertain, baby. That is right. We've here got a fun match in store for y'all today. Nine holes here at the back nine of Indian Hills. Straight up match play. Hey, man, so just got the videos coming back out for you guys. I got my new training center rooms wrapping up this week. So I'm gonna have an awesome place to give you guys awesome content with track man and force plates and we're gonna keep doing lessons with Andrew in there, which I'm sure he'll appreciate because he sweats like a pig. And <laughs> yes, so it it's a new deal. So make sure you go follow my channel because we got all the great tips coming for you. We'll link his channel down in the description down below. Check it out. Also, the Ostrich Polos are dropped. They are live available up on the site. So link down in the description for the merch as well. Get your Ostrich hat, polo, t-shirts, but the polos are now available. Super pumped for that. We're gonna take you straight to 1T right now. And we've got number 10 here, par five, 508 yards. Little bender to the right. Tee shot does play pretty straight, but the green sits off back in there. Matt does have to use my driver today. He, he lost his driver. Yeah, it's uh, an unfortunate truth. So Matt up first here on hole number 10. Dude, I think that's the driver that you need. That was perfect. Too high, let it fly. That was piped. I'm sitting back here trying not to let it burp out over the camera. I apologize, Zach. So this is like circa 2002 when I was a four caddy. I'm hiding in the trees as a group is playing through and trying not to get hit by Aaron tee shots. <laughs> This is an official match for Radford and I. It currently lies at one and a half, one and a half. Hold on, no, I thought I was up two to one. There's no chip off with a Medicus club when you're playing on the PJ Tour, I'm sorry. But we'll go two to one because I did lose the chip off with a Medicus. Go back, see previous video for what I'm referring to. <laughs> it was quite an utter, utter failure on my part. Matt in great shape right here. What's your number in? Two, three, five, which you go two plus three equals five. I don't know where I came up with that, that was random. All right. Anyways. Three iron. See if we can put one up in the middle of the green. Hopefully, uh, hit a good shot. It's heading right. We're safe. We're right. I thought that ball was pretty much on Matt's line off the tee. However, I guess it ended up just a little left, and the fairway does kind of cut in right there. And I did hit it through the fairway. Didn't think I hit it that far through the fairway, and we actually never found the ball but I do think it is in there, in the ivy. So Matt's gonna give me a one stroke penalty, taking a drop, treat that like a hazard because I am not about no poison ivy. 226 yards, let's let it fly. A little left, but really not too bad. Matt has quite the lie right here, and a dog over there to distract you. Hey, you know what? This is like a Tiger Phil scenario where you kind of like bang the club off the tree. Whatever. I'm down a driver. What's down a wedge? I ended up just a little long and a little left, but really not too bad. Need to land something just onto the green right there. Let it trundle on down. I need to get this up and down to save my par. Matt's got yeah, 10, 11 feet for his birdie. So no matter what, I need to get this up and down. Man, I'll look at you. That would have been cool if it went in. Not, not a bad stroke. <laughs> that would have been. Point bar. Oh, that hate, broke a lot. Hate to see it. You 
do hate to see it. That is an early one down. Matt takes a one-up lead. He is trying to even the match total at two to two. We're on to number 11, second hole, 368 yard par four. Are the nerves starting to flow for you? He's got the gapper. No, it's that, it's that, that pond down there that if I hit your driver so well, I'd hit it into. Gotcha. Gapper, I'm gonna be going with the stinger. It's solid, leaking a little right. It does open up a little bit over there, doesn't it? We're okay, I saw it bounce. Good shape right here, 135 yards left. Little into the breeze, so I'm gonna choke down on a pitching wedge, try to flight it a little lower. Matt's right over there, 125 left for him. Oh, I thought I hit that really good. I did, but the one didn't touch it. That's a little long. Hit that well. Matt has come to play today. Matt right here in great shape, putting back up the hill, maybe 15 feet. And I am right back there, just a little long. <laughs> oh, that was in the heart. That's good by me. Oh, I appreciate it. That was an impressive putt, sir. Now watch me hit the shot. Wow, straight and short. That was a little short. Very disappointing. I'll give that to you. Good par. Matt remains one up through two holes here on the back nine. We're on to number 12, par four in a direct line to the flag is 270 yards. I know I didn't come here to lay up and being one down, I need to put the pressure on Matt. I'll be going second. I will get to see what he does here off the tee. Very risk reward tee shot here. There's a hazard that runs short of the green. So you can choose to hit it out to the right or go right at the flag. All right, Matthew Walter also did not come here to lay up. He's got the gapper. Okay, so he shanked it, but he shanked it perfectly. He shanked it perfectly. <laughs> Dude, that was a perfect shank to a layup. I didn't even have that in frame because that is so far right. I'm gonna zoom in. Can y'all spot the ball out there in the fairway? He is right out there just short of those two ducks. Yes, that was impressive. Was that the play? Y'all don't even know how to play <laughs> psychological warfare like I do. <laughs> set up to drive it and shank it in the layup. What's up? Ooh. Let's go, that is pin high just right. We're pumping for eagle. I'm not gonna lie, the more concerning part about this right now is that there's about 20 geese and just go ahead and search golfer gets attacked by goose and see what shows up. They are legit like preparing for battle. I mean, they are all right there swarming together in the flying V. Well, oh, they're not flying. My ducks. Yeah. I'm Goldberg for anything right now. Want oh. Some Want some of the ostrich? What's up? That was aggressive. Well, they, you got, it's they, like prison rules around here. So the perfect layup here from Mr. Walter. I mean, look at that lie. It's perfect. It's perfect. Got 108. Oh, that's heading towards the middle of the green. All right, pin high, good swing. 
Matt had a good shot right there, just a little long left, maybe 25 feet left. He'll be putting for his birdie, and I've got my eagle look right here. Maybe 15, 16 feet left for eagle. Haven't had an eagle on the channel in a long time. Would love to roll the rock right here. Well, he did not leave it short. Good roll. This would be a huge momentum swing in the match. Well, you locked up your birdie. Pin slammer here on our third to even the match. The match is all square. We're on to number 13, par three. Yeah. 215. Yeah. Little into the breeze. Yeah. Straight away. Shouldn't be too bad. I don't know why I said straight away. Most par threes are pretty much straight away. <laughs> I haven't met so, a dog lady yet. Yeah. Uh, match is all square. This is asking a lot out of the five iron. We're going to let it fly. See if we can knock it close. Heading a little left. It was hit solid. All right, just a little left. When you have two shanks and one almost shank in three hole stretch, you ain't shaking it when there's cars on the right. <laughs> no, you're not. Pin high, just left, because shank. Uh, <laughs> down slope to the right, got to play a little high. and That was a pretty good chip shot from right there. Very nicely done, sir. A little Very long, nice. A little long, but it was, I played it the right line, so I can't complain. Really a pretty good swing right there. Kind of pushed it slightly, but roughly pin high, just a few feet past. Putting kind of down the hill, right to left. I am going to putt that. It is on the fringe. than I gave it credit for. Oh, wow, kind of quick coming down that hill. Oh. <laughs> oh, that is the unfortunate bogey right there. Matt has a chance for the tie. That was big, that was big. Very nicely done. Must make. That pin was in a little bit of a tricky spot, so that was a good putt by Matt coming back for the tie on the hole. Matches all square. We're on to number 14. Straight away, par four, 388. It's stinger time. Uh-oh. That is four right. Four right. side should be just fine I'm in good shape right here 146 middle pin need to knock this close this is our opportunity to go one up here in the match Should be a little past pin high, just on the right. Oh, good line. Radford for birdie. If he were to make this, he would literally have played this hole in half of the number of strokes I did because my four right comes into play too often. 
The ball's on his way. Is breaking towards the hole. And he did it. In the door. Hey, at least you lost to a birdie there. That's that's all I'm saying. Doesn't make me feel better. Got 180. Bends in the front-ish, wins into right-ish to the left, maybe a little bit. I'm gonna win this hole because I'm feeling it. I feel good about my seven. I'm 10 cup in this one. Has hit this really well. Oh boy, that could be good. All right, I am on the front edge right here. Pretty straight putt here, maybe 25 feet. Matt, just a little long, right at the flag. Both of ours. If you cut them in half, we might be in the hole. It's a good shot if we cut it in half. You're not, you're not joking there. I mean, I was, I thought I was all over it. Just I did too. Strong. You were. Oh, not a bad roll. I'll give that to you. Good part. I remain one up. We're on to number 16, par four, drivable, straight away, 300 yards into the wind, slightly uphill. If we both hit it well, we might have a chance to be putting. I am currently one up. Let's tee it high, let it fly. I didn't come here to lay up. Matt really not in bad shape here. A little right of the green, 42 yards. Hit it well. Front edge. Big hop there, a few feet left. Oh, what a love the pin slammer right there. Oh, man. So as you can see, we are not on the golf course anymore. Yes, after we hold out the putt there on 16, that did put me two up. However, the bottom fell out of the storm and we've been sitting under a friend's porch for the last <laughs> like hour and a half and now it's pretty much dark. This is your safety bubble <laughs> and the little blue dot is us. And you can see the closest strike was 1.4 miles away. Yep. And this is after waiting for an hour. I know I'm electric, but I don't want to be electrocuted. So I will concede to Zach on this one, seeing how I had two holes to go anyways. Wasn't looking good with three shanks in the bag. I was fighting, I was dogging it out. You know, I wasn't gonna give it up, but at the same time, I don't like playing in dark and in lightning. And so I will gladly concede to Zach this time. So I'll make it one to three. Well, that was so much fun. Hope y'all enjoyed coming along. Drop a like down below. I did move up three to one in our match series with Matt conceding, yeah. me being two up with two to play. This was extreme circumstances. Yeah. Always hate to not totally finish, but I feel like it was close enough and yeah. Matt did concede. Make sure to check out Matt and his channel. I'll link it all down in the description down below. So I appreciate you having me out here. You, Come out here and visit him as well if you're in the area in need of lessons. Yeah. And y'all, until next time, we'll see you when we see you. Peace. Peace.